Hi guys and welcome to today's review on the new 2019 limited edition perfume by Jo Malone that is called Rose and Magnolia. So when it was first announced and I saw it online, I wasn't that excited about it just because I have a lot of rose perfumes in my collection and another rose edition seemed very boring to me and for some strange reason I don't really like perfumes that feature a lot of magnolia in them, so for me it seemed like a pass. But did you expect that? But when I smelled rose and magnolia I was so surprised by it just because it doesn't remind me of modern perfumes that sit on perfume shelves in the stores nowadays. Instead it smells old-fashioned. And the opening is very clean and soapy and it reminds me of a fresh piece of exquisite French soap. So if you miss soapy perfumes, which are quite rare nowadays, I think it's gonna be your jam. However, if you hate perfumes with obviously soapy elements like I did a few years ago, be careful, I'm just telling you it's very soapy. But if you're wondering where is actually the rose, it's there because this soap is about the rose. It's a rosy soap and a spicy soap because um, it reminds me of some uh, very cold pepper too. It's just like basically a winter rose that is covered with layers of snow and has some sprinkles of black pepper because like that peppery twist in there is super noticeable. And geranium actually accentuates the beauty of the rose, making it very unisex. And one of the prominent notes in the dry down is patchouli, which you know I love. And it is very aromatic in there and super refined. It just makes sure that um, this fragrance has depth, which it needs. But patchouli is not straightforward in your face. It's not overwhelming. It just supports uh, the whole blend and makes sure it has some body. So one of the greatest things about this perfume, despite the fact it smells a bit old-fashioned, clean and so interesting, is that it is very unisex. So if you're looking for a great fresh unisex rose, which is quite hard to find, I would definitely recommend you to check out this perfume. I think it smells very classy and elegant. You can wear it with a suit, you can wear it uh, on the everyday basis and it's just so amazing for colder weather just because it smells so snowy, like a fairy tale. And uh, I actually like the lasting power of this one. Unlike many other Jo Malone's perfumes, it lasts long. I can't complain about the performance. It's unisex and it looks adorable because this dark navy blue color is so beautiful and I think it's gonna be in new red because it is very trendy. There is actually another flacon of their popular in such a gorgeous bottle that I'm dying to get it. So that basically completes this review on this limited fragrance that uh, I highly recommend you guys to check out. And if you can't find it uh, in the store and you're considering blind buying it, I think it's uh, worth it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have already had a chance to try it out, please let us know your impressions on it. I think they are going to be very helpful. I definitely gravitate towards their limited editions. For example, last year's White Moss and Snowdrop was also a hit for me. And uh, that completes this one. I'm looking forward to chat with you, to learn your opinion on Jomalon's perfume. Check out the description box for more helpful information there. You'll find links on my previous reviews on Jo Malone's perfumes. And uh, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, ring that bell. And thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, smell good. We'll see each other next one. Bye, guys.